Door closers are common in buildings where large, heavy doors are used. The installation of floor closers might seem for some a daunting task. This program is aimed at demystifying the process and demonstrating the relative ease of installing Ritson closers, the most reliable floor closers anywhere. Floor closers, aided by door and frame mounted pivots, are invaluable because they alleviate stress on the door frame by distributing door weight to the floor rather than the jams. High use and extra heavy doors generally outperform doors hung on butts or continuous hinges. With closers concealed in the floor, decorative doors are free from exposed hardware. The door should simply be able to open and close efficiently, function well over an extensive life cycle, and most importantly, it should look good. This video shows the installation of a center-hung floor closer. By following the instructions recommended in this program, you should be able to perform this kind of installation quickly and efficiently. The following installation features a Rickson 28 center-hung floor closer. The procedure was performed at the Chicago Regional Council of Carpenters training facility. This video will be used in their apprenticeship training programs. The featured installer is a qualified door technician who has been installing floor closers for over 30 years. Before beginning, the door frame must be in place and a cavity in the concrete floor provided for the closer. This hole can be cut after the slab is in place or blocked out before the concrete is poured. For the purpose of this demonstration, a metal box represents the hole. A template with dimensions is included with your closer. First, let's take a look at everything you need to install the closer. A cement case. A floor closer body. Check the model number and hand prior to beginning the installation. Four brass screws for attaching the closer body to the cement case. Spindle collar. A walking beam top pivot. Rickson pivots and floor closers are shipped with both wood and machine screws. Determine that you have the right screws before starting. A wood door bottom arm package. For doors without thresholds, a finished cover plate is provided. When installing closers, no toolbox is complete without a Rickson 185 quick spotter kit, which includes metal straps for positioning the closer in the cavity, screws for attaching the straps to the closer body, a spindle locator to properly position the closer. A bubble level. Next, to ensure accurate alignment of the closer and the top pivot, we suggest you use a Model 2604 Pivot Alignment Tool. Commonly available tools you should also have on hand include a plumb bob with a line at least as long as the height of the door, a crowbar, a framing square, a number 3 Phillips head driver, a number 2 driver, a large blade driver, a crescent wrench, a torpedo level, masking tape or painter's tape. It is a good idea to have some breakable thread lock on hand. Blue Loctite is ideal. You'll need some cement along with a bucket and a stir stick for mixing the cement. And you'll also want to have a trowel for distributing cement around the closer case. A cased opening frame is used for center hung doors. Unlike the offset product's rabbited frame, this frame has no stop. In opening, the door edge moves away from the frame. This Model 28 closer is single acting and requires an applied stop on the lock edge. Center hung closers can also be double acting. A center hung door must have radiused edges. With a long level and a framing square, Check to make certain the door frame is square at both top and bottom corners. Install the jam portion of the top pivot into the header. Using adjusting screws, lower the pivot pin. Slide the aligning tool with the attached plumb line onto the pivot pin and tighten it with a tightening screw. Insert the closer into the cement case and secure it tightly with the supplied screws.
Masking tape will prevent cement from getting between the closer body and the cement case. Attach the metal straps to the top of the closer with screws. Insert the leveling screws. Make sure the frame is plumb and square again. Lower the closer into the floor, suspended by the straps. Place the spindle locator over the spindle and move the closer into position adjacent to the frame. The locator is only used when the pivot point is two and three quarter inches from the frame. Position the closer so that the center of the spindle is aligned with the plumb bob. Confirm that the cement case is square to the opening. Place the bubble level on top of the spindle. Make sure the body is level by using the leveling screws. Double check with the torpedo level. Remove the pivot alignment tool. Remove the pivot locator. Retract the pivot pin. Put the finish plate on the frame portion of the top pivot. Now you are ready to surround the case with cement. Some installers may choose to partially fill the hole with quick dry cement and test fit the door prior to completing the installation with standard cement. Be sure to use standard rather than quick dry products. While the cement sets, attach all needed hardware to the door. Begin with installing the door portion of the top pivot. Attach the arm plate in the mortise in the bottom of the door. This is a wood door installation, so an extra plate is attached to the underside of the door. This protects the veneer. On metal doors, this plate is not needed. Install cover plate. Install spindle collar. Lightly turn the closing and latch valves all the way clockwise. Do not over-tighten. Attach the bottom arm to the closer and secure with the spindle screw. Turn the arm to approximately 30 degrees. Bank the door slightly and set it on the closer arm. Align the door and frame portions of the top pivot. Open the door slightly to gain access to the adjusting screw and turn it clockwise to bring the pivot pin down into the door portion of the top pivot. This closer comes with centering screws in the face of the door. Insert one on each side of the door. If this was a double acting door, the screws would help center the door in the opening. Prop the door open at 90 degrees. Tighten the arm locking screw. This screw also allows you to move the door laterally towards the lock side of the frame. Back off the latch and closing speed valves. Take a look at the gap between the door and frame. The gap should never be more than an eighth of an inch. Verify that there is a stop on the frame. Now it's time to fine tune the closer control valves for optimal door performance. The latch speed valve controls the door during the last 10 degrees of travel prior to latching. A door's travel speed at this point is critical to overcome weather stripping, latch bolts, and stack pressures. The closing speed valve controls the door from full open to about 10 degrees. You will want to set this to a speed you feel most comfortable with. The back check valve adjusts the amount of hydraulic resistance that begins at about 70 degrees in the opening cycle. Back check should never be turned to a point where it acts as a dead stop for the door. The closer in this installation has a selective hold open feature that turns the hold open off or on. Always adjust the closing speed first. Next, set the latch speed. Next, set the latch speed. 
and finally back check. Slight adjustments will generally do the trick. Before you install one of these high quality closers, remember that a quick spotter kit and pivot aligning tool can help make this job relatively easy. Both devices are sturdy and reusable, so you should keep a set in your toolbox. All Rickson closers are shipped with templates and step-by-step -step instructions. These items are available on our website, along with other helpful items, including owner's manuals, troubleshooting guides, replacement product videos, and an online version of this installation video. Now that you've seen the step-by-step -step installation of a Rickson center hung closer, you should be ready to try it yourself. With a little practice, your skill with Rickson installations will prove valuable for years to come. For additional copies of this program or to request training at your facility, contact Rickson Technical Support.